I'm Max Sterling, welcome to LARP Mix. I've been on this cyberpunk kick recently and I wanted to go ahead and continue on with that. I wanted to show everyone how to do some pretty simple cyberpunk or futuristic or sci-fi effects on their computer monitors so that you can add it into the background of your game to add some immersion and just sort of have this stuff running ambiently, you know, in the background. Because all this little stuff adds up to create a more immersive game. And if you have a bunch of laptops or some old monitors, you can link them together and just have this stuff sort of scrolling around to just really create that much more of an environment. So this is really simple, easy, and free stuff that anyone can do, and we'll go ahead and show it to you here. And one of the easiest things you can do is just changing some icons. Now everything that I do on here is going to be Windows based machines so if you don't have Windows you have to figure out what you need to do on your computer but if you're running Windows this is what you can do. So first we're going to start out by going here into these icons and we're going to change them to something that looks a little bit better. Uh, like I said there's other ways to do this but this is simple easy and free so you just right click here change the properties, go to customize, and then scroll through this list of icons and pick one that looks better than whatever's there now. So we picked this little guy and already it's starting to look better. Now you would just go through and do this with all of the icons that you can change and get it look a lot better. So the next thing we can do that's real easy is to change the background picture. Uh, this sound and music stuff isn't going to work, so I went ahead and downloaded something different a little bit earlier on, and all the links for the programs and photos and stuff will be down below in the description. But we're going to change this background picture to something a little bit more cyberpunk or futuristic looking, and huge difference right there. Now, if you're around back in the day, um, this definitely would have made you one of the cool kids if you knew how to do this. So we're going to go in and we're going to make a batch file. It's super simple to do. And it's going to give you that old matrix scrolling text sort of effect. And uh, it's real simple. Just going to open a notepad document type in the stuff that I type in. If you don't know what it means or what you're doing, it doesn't matter. You're just going to type in exactly what I put in here. Basically, we're just going to tell the computer, you know, to run a bunch of random characters in a certain color and just to have it repeat. And we're going to change the size so that it fills the whole screen. And that's basically what we got here. So we're just typing in a few lines of code here and then we're going to save it and you can save as a text file first if you want to go back and change it and play around with it later or you can just save it straight as a batch file but we'll save it as a text file first and then we'll save it as the batch file which is real easy you just change the drop down to all files instead of text and then just type in .bat at the end of whatever you name the file now I did ahead and did it here in yellow we're going to go ahead and I'll show you in green, which is your standard sort of matrixy look. And then I'm going to change, I think, to probably teal to sort of better match this background so things look a little bit more cohesive. And the last thing you can do is a program called Rain Meter, which has just limitless options. It's amazing. And you can download all kinds of cool skins and different add-ons and plugins. But to avoid any sort of claims on the video, I'm gonna do it real simple here. I'm just gonna go with what the program comes with. And basically, you can go in here and it has a bunch of options. There's ones for your hard drive, your network, Google search, uh, your cycle bin, a bunch of stuff. And we're just going to add those on here. Now once those pop up and you move them over to the side of the screen or put them wherever you'd like to have them, 
you can right click on them and choose to edit them and you can change the names of them which I think adds a little bit of depth to it as well so you can change say like Google to matrix you can change your system to mainframe or whatever you want to type in there uh, if you have something specific going on in your game and you want to name it something specific you can do that as well This stuff is also cool if you do have players using computers in the game and you want them to sit down at a computer and have it look a little bit more futuristic, you can do this kind of stuff. Um, you know, it's all about creativity, so you gotta use your imagination a little bit, but if you have it looking real good when they sit down, you know, uh, that much imagination can be devoted somewhere else, I guess. So, I hope you found this video useful. It's just a quick little video. I just wanted to give you guys a way to add some little bit extra flair to your games if you're doing something cyberpunk. And uh, if you liked it, please click like below. Please subscribe to the channel and be sure to share this video and all my videos with everyone out there that you know who games. And of course, as always, adventure on.